In this video, we'll see how to set up multi-configuration files in Calibre Realtime. The Calibre Realtime option settings and check recipe definitions seen here in the Realtime options GUI are saved in the Calibre Realtime configuration file. Currently, you can see that there are some settings specified and there are only built-in recipes that are present in the options GUI. Now, if we take a look at the Calibre Realtime configuration file, you can see that there are some options that are set. But what if I users want to load real-time options from multiple sources such as one from a project setup, one from a site setup, and one from the user's own preferences? You can do that by setting up the following environment variable, asking real-time to read from multiple configuration files. Each of the directories contains a .realtime.cfg file and the configuration files are loaded in a precedence order from left to right. You can use the right keyword to specify which directory you want your Calibre real-time settings that you change in the current session to be written to. If you want your user settings to be saved to the real-time configuration file in the home directory, then you can replace the right keyword by $home. In our case, let us set the variables to the following local path where project pdk is the project directory, site pdk is the site directory, and I'm asking real time to write my settings to the current working directory using the right keyword. I want to load my rule file and layer map file settings from my project pdk configuration and my user recipes from my site pdk. So I open the respective files and only ensure that the layer map file and the rule file option are present in the project setup and then I open my site PDK setup and ensure that the only thing that are present are the user recipes. Let us launch Laker again for the new Calibre real-time settings to take effect. Note that if you had this environment variable set up before Laker was launched the first time, then there would be no need to start Laker again. Now you can see that the rule file and the layer map file options are loaded. And if you go down to the recipe list, you can see that it also contains the user recipes in addition to the built-in recipes. Also, now if you make a changes to your real-time options, such as the highlight after DRC run and group highlight colors by check, and you open the real-time configuration file in the current working directory, you will find these options, which is as expected, because this is the place I ask Calibre real-time to save my settings. For more information on how to set up real-time configuration files, please refer to the Calibre Real-Time Manual. I hope this video was helpful to you. Thank you.